Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Rondo, this is Sig, the worst producer in the world. Something the fuck with me as we're trying to do anything else. Hey, hey easy there. Easy there. You're just mad for two reasons. One, you got rejected from the Oompa Loompa Academy because you're an inch too tall. And two, because you bought the Wubbies. Hey, it's not Call of Duty. You know what? <laughs> Shut up. I'm not happy about it. I didn't mean to buy it. No. Apparently hitting fucking X and square at the same time or in sequence or something like that. It doesn't. I'm so mad. But he's not mad about being... God points. Huh? What now? So why are you that mad about being denied entry to Oompa Loompa for being an inch taller than the required height? I've been short my entire life. I just wasted 3,200 cop points on four fucking Furbies that I'm never going to use. Their hitbox is gigantic, and I don't want to use them. So no, I will never, and the, the, I'll never use any of the skins, stickers, or any other bullshit that they have with it. But can you use it on Thursday so where it covers me? You, just, you want me to rage play? That's what you wanted. If I was gonna <laughs> buy anything, I would have bought either the bats or even the at least the emojis, the emoji one. I would have spent I would have spent that on the emoji one. I would not have bought the fucking Gundam ones with the stupid lightsaber and all that. No. We should buy the emoji <laughs> ones. I'm not buying anything now. Fucking torture with the other bullshit. That's see, those are three thousand. That was two hundred cheaper than. No, that other one was thirty two hundred. The the wobbles or whatever, they're three thousand on my side. Oh, there it was. Oh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. Because I blacked out and got pissed. When you said you bought them, went. Did he just jump the gun and say, "Okay, well, I guess we guess Sig's right. We should do this." It's like, oh, all right, maybe I'll go buy it. And I looked how many coins I had. I went, oh, I'm two hundred shy. I'll play a couple rounds to get it. I didn't get it. it. No. I don't blame you. I didn't want it. Because I saw the emoji ones, I was like... That's the ones I should have gotten if I was going to do it. But again, I didn't mean to do it. Well, also, I don't buy anything now because nothing's carrying over. I mean, the skins will carry over to Warzone, but since yeah. I play multiplayer, nothing's going to carry over to Bio, uh, Black Ops 6. So, buying skins and such is up in the air for me. But you still use them on Warzone. Yes, but I play more multiplayer than I do Warzone. And the, skin, the skins are transferring over to multiplayer? No. Nope. Right? Nope. It's, they are saying uh, campaign multiplayer and zombies is a fresh start. And that's even like their, their catch line, their slogan, their sales pitch that they're using is they want to make sure everybody has a fresh start along with them. I mean, why? Really? Why? Because Why do you need a fresh start? Because this is how Microsoft is basically setting the stage of we're done letting Activision get away with their stupid bullshit that Bobby Kodak has let them get away with for so many years and destroy the franchise's name. All right, instead, we're doing a fresh start. Which, speaking of which... Um, They're still going to charge 70 to $100 yeah, yeah. for a fucking downloadable game. Yeah. That's, that's a whole, like... There's a big uh, petition going around with the FTC to basically say digital copies are required to be 30 to 40 percent cheaper because there is no hard copy to be sold. It's a digital license, which technically, as we have found out with Sony, assholes, uh, just because you have purchased the license, you still don't own the license. And Sony has proven that when they stripped a bunch of titles off their PlayStation Store and basically said, tough shit, you don't get it anymore. So, uh, yeah. If you have the possibility to lose a license agreement that you've paid for, absolutely, it should be at least 40% cheaper. I think the game honestly should be $50, if not 40 But I don't remember the last Call of Duty being 70 bucks. It was 60, I remember. Was it? Mm -hmm. It was 69.99. It was the first one. I spent too much money on those games. Yes, we do. Yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Speaking of fuck, but, uh, Game Pass is pissing me off with Black Ops 6. 
because I, I text this to you. Uh, by the way, if you all haven't picked up today's topic, Black Ops 6, Call of Duty. Uh, I, I was perusing around Game Pass. I was like, okay, I can get for free. I can pre-install it right now. so where you can get uh, access to the wood skin. However, that is where it stops. And I will only have access to it if I play and launch on the Xbox game, uh, game store. In addition, okay. I lose all my progress too. I mean, I am literally starting from scratch because currently Call of Duty's online is not allowing me to connect my Battle.net and PlayStation, which is already connected to those two, and my Twitch and my Steam. It's not connecting properly with Xbox. Mm. So I've already put like a take in everything. And the most I've received back is, oh, we're aware of this issue for PC players. Cool. What's the fix? <laughs> nope. So, but I also want, this, was, this is the part that really pisses me off, is I want stupid fucking Hunter versus Hunted skins and the uh, Wonder Weapon skins. Just because of like, oh, I actually like those. I like those. They're not bad. And I'm like, oh, look at that. Game Pass for once is doing the base tier. I get it. I get why. But for love, fucking God. <laughs> and I've chosen a different game to do this too. You didn't have to do my, my, my favorite or one of my favorites. <clears throat> Assholes, jerks. That's my. Right, at the end of the day, they're just, all they want to do is make money. That's their game. Going to continue. They will say that they're trying to do everything better by everybody else. They, they're just going to make money. Yeah. They don't care. They're still going to try and make money regardless. Nothing well, is changing. Well, they're to the USA. Say, they're just going to say that things are changing. Yes, cheaters are going away. No, they're not. Not at all. Nowhere are they changing. Any I, cheaters. I will say this. Because I actually was having this discussion with somebody on one of their lives, is the concept of cheaters not going away? The hardcore cheaters are going away. The ones that are like blatantly cheating, and you can see they have cheats, those are going to disappear. And we're going to have like the minor inconvenience ones, and that's just because that's the only people being cracked down on is the hardcore. Like, oh hey, look, you clearly can see through walls because. You just flash your other monitor or because you have the overlay still on it. You're stupid and not doing game capture. You're doing window capture. Like it's stupid stuff. And Microsoft has already stated that that's their target. And that's who they go after for all their other games. That's whoever's blatantly like openly cheating. Not the ones that are like, if I don't live stream using my, my little device, no one will know. That'd be hard hard. Versus going, oh yeah, no, 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 ignore this little black device. Shit, hit me for that. Oh, the program's still up and running. Fuck. No, it's going to be the smart people that stay around. Yeah, he froze. I, uh, no way. They'll, they'll be around. They're not going nowhere. I still find it hardcore. The, sorry, the stupid cheaters. I, I'll put that way. The stupid cheaters are going away. <laughs> the hardcore ones tend to be. No count. You're not going to get they're not going to uh, get IP ban. No, Microsoft's already started IP banning people. The only real workaround right now is okay. it's uh, is because IPs are different for PC and console, like different yeah. structures. They're just switching to PC, or they're buying a new PlayStation, buy a new Xbox, or they're returning. Like there's workarounds, but yeah. The only people who are permanently like IP legit IP is PC. Once you get down there, you're kind of fucked. Who knows? I keep getting kicked for inactivity. Because you camp too hard. That's the best part though, is is I'm not. When I'm camping, I'm not. Like it's me running around, even with you. I can be running around, we're having action, or whatever, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch you run across the alleyway. <laughs> go take out those people and then just draw their fire, draw their attention, and then randomly five seconds in pro positions like ah 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 kicked. Really? But me being up on the crane, pro position for three minutes? No. 
-hmm. It's the water tower pro. Ah. Oh. Fuckers. I'm not even hitting anybody. Why are you kicking me? <laughs> not that good. Why are you kicking the shitty player? Maybe well, that's why I'm actually being kicked. It's because oh, they kick it's, the good you're ones. decent. You're doing decent. I'm doing shitty. And like, ah, that's why he's able to do so well. Is because he, he has a fake account. He has a bot in his lobby. Kick the bot. Oh, that's why. Just saying, it only ever seems to happen when I'm playing with you. If that's the case, we should win a lot more. No, because they kicked me from it. You don't get, you haven't been kicked in a long time. When we play. Yeah, I kicked like four weeks ago. Shush. I reconnect fairly quick. So, but anyways, so Black Ops, we're going to get back to the, the shit store. Black Ops. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff that has came out and still coming out because again, this just got announced Sunday. Sunday? Sunday or Monday? Sunday. It would have been Sunday. But anyways, Black Ops 6 is coming out October 25th, 2024. Um, if you pre-order, you get one month early access to it. Uh, regardless of which tier you pre-order, you get one month early access. So that is that is good. Here we go. So we have I took notes on my phone. So right now, here's all the information that is currently available based off what I've read and discovered. Black Ops 6 will have 16 maps at launch, 12 6v6 plus 4 strike maps. Uh, maps will be player in 2v, playable 2v2 or 6v6 classic 3 lane maps. Uh, one of the biggest things that a lot of people are loving, and I'm a big fan of this, Prestige system is officially back. Uh, there will be no seasonal prestige like we're in right now where it's just you know next hundred you get a cool little icon it's you hit 100 you prestige back down specific items will be restarted uh, it's said to be like old school prestige system so if you level out uh, you let you hit to 100 you prestige everything that was locked at level two is still locked at level two you have to unlock everything again uh, let's go this was like one I of the most. That. I so here's like, I hated it until I hit like prestige because I was the asshole that would stay at like level fifty five. So you're not gonna hit hundred. Level fifty five is when you prestige, because I was camp at level fifty five. I just sit there. I'm like, I have all this cool shit. Oh, you're a level seven prestige starting over. Fuck your shit. I'm gonna mess you up now. I don't give a shit about prestiging. I'm here to clown on you fools. So fuck you and fuck your prestige system. Uh, but after you prestige 10 times, you will be given prestige master with a 1000 additional levels at launch. So there's no seasonal level cap. There's no seasonal, uh, timeline to this. It's just from start to finish, you can prestige, uh, the UI slash UX is being simplified, which is great. Uh, there will be an invite friend back on black ops 6 versus the tab where we have to go into it like we do right now black ops 6 lobby and nuketown's coming back nuketown's been one of the, probably the biggest maps ever that people keep wanting brought back i'm torn on this one um gunsmith you'll start with five attachment standard and then with wild cards you be able to go to eight attachments on your gun this was one of those like I hated by love because I could build weapons out with the wild cards and build a nasty eight attachment weapon. But again, to get there and to unlock everything was a bitch which why I camped at level 55. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of quote metas. But this is one that everything I've dove into and tried to discover, this is only for the Black Ops 6 game, not for Warzone. This is okay, only so relevant. More multiplayer. No, this okay. is all multiplayer and zombies and campaign. Nothing else. As of right now, again, this information just got released on Sunday, the day's the eleventh. It's the ninth, Sunday the ninth, June ninth. Uh, more information will come, and I'm sure we'll do a whole nother episode probably eh, end of October. 
beginning of November as a this is what we think of Call of Duty. If we buy it. <laughs> we'll see. I mean I'll have it with Game Pass. I really want all the other shit, so I'll go DoorDash for a hundred dollars. I'll probably accidentally buy it. <laughs> Square X. God. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I want my money back. The minimal you can't buy the top points, so it's good. The minimalistic HUD is back. So it's gonna be a circle with a uh, compass on it. So northeast, southwest, and then degrees as well. So this is for multiplayer, but it's slated right now in the dev code structures that it's set to be quote integrated at a later time for Warzone. So which I'm a fan of. I like the circle compass slash radar compared to square. I, Aesthetic wise, I don't like the square. Personal preference. The only reason you use square is because you can see more. I so hate the square. square. I hate square. Then go to circle. I can't change mine. Yes, you can. You show me where on Thursday nights because I've scoured that whole fucking setting for two years now. I yeah, it, it started off as a circle and then you changed it to square. I didn't change it to square. I don't like square. Yes, you did. You should like squares, you can see more. Circular, you can't square. see everything. I hate square. It does not fit my OCD. Don't like square. I'm not fucking telling you anything. <laughs> uh, they released the Vault Edition. So with Vault Edition, which is $100, <clears throat> the top tier, you will have yeah. access to the Hunters versus Hunted Operator Pack, which is what I'm leaning towards. Uh, Black Cell Season 1. Mastercraft collection, which is all the wonder weapons, and then the gobble gun pack, which is for zombies. Uh, right now, yeah, the price will be dependent upon your country. If you pre order the base, the base model, so the $70 one, you do get Woods Operator Pack, and you can use it right now. Uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. yeah. For Black Ops 6, though, you're purchasing the campaign, the multiplayer, and the zombies. Like I was telling Rob earlier today, I don't think you're purchasing any of this. Campaign's the only thing I can see you kind of maybe want to do for story continuity, but you don't play multiplayer. We've played zombies a couple times and you don't like it. You prefer Warzone. <laughs> the zombies is round base this year or this coming year. Which makes sense because it's yeah they have Warzone zombies there now is that going to go away or are they keeping that? Um, the rumor is kind of like DMZ. It won't get so support it's, anymore. It's going to be there. Yeah, because it's so, part of because war uh, that's part of Modern Warfare Three, the game. Yeah, and this is Black Ops, so you don't get Warzone and zombies for free. You get Warzone for free. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think Zombies is dead, unfortunately, I think, and which is stupid because DMZ, which, by the way, I've been seeing a lot of gameplay on TikTok for DMZ, which is weird, along with people playing Anthem. Who the fuck is playing Anthem, by the way? Game's dead, been dead since launch. Another video. Uh, but DMZ had all the potential in the world, and they basically just went, eh, scrap it one year later. Zombies. Basically, yeah, have, have that happen too. So, zombies is fun. I enjoy it, but it's also a, a cheat because, like, I just level up a weapon from one to twenty-two today, two rounds. Like, yeah. there we go, done. No, no I'll, the meta. I'll buy. I'll buy Black Ops. I I know I will just because it's a Call of Duty game. I'll buy. Buy, I bought. Buy. I bought every other one. Tier one or a tier two. I'm not buying. It. I'm not paying hundred fucking dollars. There's no, no, thank you. Nothing in there. There's not. There's nothing in that hundred dollar bundle yet. That they're not yes. anything. That's all they'll have for now. They're 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 not going to have. There's no ghost skin. <laughs> That's the only thing that would even that would even pull me to maybe think about it. until September. Three exclusive ghost well, skin. He's like, oh, ah, yeah, bitch, right. hundred. <laughs> <laughs> they won't do that. They're too hardcore with the, with the zombie stuff. And if I'm correct, Ghost died in the last game in Modern Warfare. 
So, so this is this is a this is a prelude like this this before all that. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. This is a backstory. Um, I think which, by the way, twenty twenty six is Call of Duty. You're gonna love this. Uh, Advanced Warfare two. <laughs> Advanced Warfare? Two. <laughs> Advanced Warfare. Why? Oh, I can not know. It... Tune in two years where I stopped playing Warzone. <laughs> no, no, that's just the game. You'll still play Warzone, but that's the game. <laughs> that's where Warzone will go. Look, <sighs> if they bring the operators back, specifically the guy with the... the what, what were they called? The spark mines or whatever, where he has a grenade launcher and he's just shooting a bunch of mines. Look, we get that. You play whoever the fuck you want. I'll play the operator and we will just camp in a building so hardcore and we will win. No, we could be I when I was the so operator. I hate, I hate that fucking game so much. Can you imagine? It's... Imagine looking over the edge of a building and see somebody running up and be like, oh, bitch, we're not doing this today. Uh, and then just run on the <laughs> side of a building. Just get on grappling the mic. Grappling the <laughs> grappling the fuck off. Get on the mic. Be like, you know what? You all a bunch of spots. I'm done. And just walk away. Reverse Fortnite this bitch. That's what that's yes. I don't want that to happen. It's gonna turn to fucking Apex. I don't I don't think don't they will. Um just just because of a like just because of the Apex pushback. And it's not well received. 2027 is going to be Ghost 2. However, this is restarting that universe or that timeline. It's going to be before Ghost 1. It's going to be like when we uh, see Mac and Ghost get together for the first time. Mac or Mace? Mace. There you go. An M1. I have a lot of fucking notes over here, okay? So chill the fuck out. I'm not even at that part of my notes. That's like well beyond, and I just jumped to it. Okay, so chill out. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ill prepared Oompa Loompa fuck. Chill out. Uh, you cannot say I was ill prepared. You just told me before this we're going to do a Black Ops 6. Yeah, and I was going to go in the way of my notes and I fucking fell. Uh, <laughs> the one thing Stop that it. it's always your fault. The one thing that has drawn a lot of like positive attention, other than the prestige system and the gunsmith. Mm-hmm. Is the new Omni movement? Um, so now you'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, dip, dive, slide, and sprint in any direction. So you'll be able to like dive backwards and land on your back. Be able to dive sideways and land land on your side. You'll be able to slide sideways and backwards and forward. Uh, the uh, what's it called? The the hit boxes or hit animation went from six to nine. So now when you get hit in a specific body part, you're going to be more fluid. It's going to be more, quote, realistic approach to it. Um, They will have intelligent movement for auto sprint and mantling, which, like, I hate the mantling system right now. Hate it. Whether I have it set to double tap my jump button or to auto mantle, it's all fucking shit. It doesn't do it when I want to do it. Never. Hate it. I'm on auto right now because self was pissing me off. Hit animation, which is a hit spot. So there's now nine for realistic effect of dying. Right now there is six. Um, so if you were like get shot in the chest, you may just fall right where you are. Whereas in Black Ops Six, you're gonna be shot in the chest with like a shotgun. You're gonna be shot backwards. If you're shot in the chest by like a AR or assault rifle or SMG, you're gonna just kind of fall backwards. If you get shot in the leg, you're gonna fucking flip. Is the animation they show is somebody getting shot in the leg and the guy just went. <laughs> Shot in the arm, they spin. Shot in the head, they do like kind of a half flip, semi flip. So, big improvement. Why? No, because it's they, not. It is. That's because not they, an improvement. That's fucking horrible. No, it's an improvement because they've had the same six spots for over seven years. That, and this has been something they need to improve upon. Whether you like it or not is irrelevant. No, that doesn't need to fucking happen. Listen, you no, have no say. No go sense. to your, go back to your furry skins and shut the fuck up. How are you going to have a firefight if you're constantly hitting each other and the leg whatnot 
flipping whatever getting blown backwards it's your death it's, it's your death it's not it's not like you and i are just fighting like oh i took a shot to the chest i'm gonna fall backwards get back up no these are death kills this is what happens when you die if you get killed sorry you're not following a train of thought a simple equation or understanding of gaming that. you said when you got hit it's you called hit animations you said hit yes hit animation not death animation let's talk about death. that's what they're in. that's hit animation you didn't say death it's There's the same shit for them hit, hit and death are different but hit not animation. for animation you, not yeah. for animation animation is hit the cause animation. of death they don't they don't no. call it death. animation is the motion whatever animation same shit motion. it's death no it's not the same no it's the same thing animation is being hit by no. something death not, is dying not, not in the way video game spectrum no, it's all hit animations different. when you're no, coding it's not hit animation. no yes it is no no yes you just don't like it you don't no. like it no i don't like it it's dumb you don't like it and you're being argumented to be argumented like a teenage girl you're they're wrong trying, the hit animation is the death it. and they're, they're not overdoing it, it. Overdoing is Apex, where every limb has a different movement. Where they're moving towards. They're not moving towards it. Shut up, you prickly old fart. Shut down. That's what they're moving to. No, they're not. They're overdoing it. They're, they're not. Over they're overcomplicating you, it. You need nine because the kill death, the kill screen right now sucks. It's stupid. No matter how you die or how you get shot finally, sucks. It's all trash. It looks very stupid and half-assed, like Activision from 2001 did this hit kill. They're terrible. Oh, well, now it's a hit kill. I'm going to use every fucking keyword to appease your stupid ass. You the fuck? The same thing. Same thing. Moving on, because I'm done arguing with you about shit you <laughs> fail to understand. Traditional score streaks are coming back. Um, that's really my only note, and that's all they announced. So I'm not clear... It? traditional score streaks oh so um i don't know that's what my note says and that's right, what right. i took from there so uh loadouts with primary secondary and melee along with three perks per loadout equip three perks of the same category to get a perk special out speciality specialty there we go specialty Uh, this one has a lot of hype. <clears throat> has a lot. Of, I'm joking. I'll spit. Has a lot of hype behind it. The winner circle is being brought back. Do you remember that? It's also followed uh, by best play of the game. Oh, okay. So Those winner circle is like these are your top three players. Like they do in uh, mobile. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's coming back. Everybody's like, oh my god. I don't care. I want to move on with my next match. Just, I don't care just about to be games. clear, everything you're covering is multiplayer. This is for multiplayer campaign and uh, zombies. No. This is not, not Warzone. No. There's nothing been given updates about Warzone. Everything is supposed to come at I think they said August is the next big gaming conference that they will address Warzone's integration with black ops coming in so uh maybe they'll bring godzilla back uh but best play is coming back which again i don't like this stuff when i play multiplayer because i'm just i'm there to like play the match and leave i don't give a shit if you had the best play i don't care if you're in the top three i don't care if i'm even in the top three i don't care it's the multiplayer now warzone i care about that final animation i care about getting loaded up into the cargo plane and see myself that i care about because it does not happen often this shit will happen often where i'm like oh cool it's a close quarters match i just went around knife 40 people i got top player yeah. of the game because i had a knife in my right shield fucking hate me all you want i'm trying to survive piss people off uh this does pertain to Warzone when the integration is successful. Uh, Black Ops 6 will have 12 brand new weapons to the Call of Duty franchise, um, oh, along, with many, along with many more new secondary and primary utilizations of options for Black Ops 6 slash Warzone. But again, they don't dive into what that is. Just who knows? Uh, for zombies, 
no more playable operators. You will have your crew where you can play as four different people, Weaver, Dr. Grave, Carver, and a new character named Maya. And this is actually continuing the story of Black Ops 4, I think is what they said. Because they skipped 5, where I was like, oh, that's weird. 5 was Cold War, wasn't it? Was that? That was a Black Ops, though, was it? Not Vanguard. I think it was Cold War. You Google that. Um, Black Ops 6 Zombie will be released with two brand new maps, Liberty Falls and Terminus Island. Both of these play into the actual story. Uh, Terminus Island is the main focus, though. It's where everything kind of takes place. Terminus Island is said to be, quote, a giant structure in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's a jail where heinous activities have taken place. So it's Rebirth Island. Huh? So it's Rebirth Island. Uh, Alcatraz. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it looks, I think it looks very similar to the Alcatraz map from Zombies years ago. Well, so, that's Rebirth Island, though. That's Alcatraz. Alcatraz looks better than Rebirth Island. It's, it's almost the exact same. Can we look at it? I will look at it. I only say that because I didn't know that because I looked at it the other night. I didn't know it was based off that. I knew it was based off. Base. No, it goes. Uh, yeah, it was uh, Cold War. Black Ops Cold War it was fine. Yeah. Interesting fact. Uh, Rebirth Island is the fourth iteration of Alcatraz within Call of Duty. Oh, really? I did not know. I just thought it was that one. Rebirth Island is post war on Alcatraz. Mm. So it is Alcatraz after a war-torn event took place. This is Alcatraz, like, still built. What's the other three? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no, I didn't, I'm doing I didn't this. know. I'm doing this because I'm so curious now about that. Uh, the Omni movement will also be in Zombies, which sucks. I I'm not sold on Omni Movement just because I hate people who fucking slide and dolphin dive to kill me. Just to people. Forget to do it. I do it. I'm just slow at it. <laughs> I'm over here hitting the control button to dive. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> what do you mean I can't do it? I took six bullets to the head. Um, yeah, it says Terminus is a remote island, prison island set in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's a complex map. Yeah, you know. Alcatraz. All right, and then it says, this is from the Call of Duty Twitter handle. They say that, quote, we want to make sure that everybody starts fresh together as we move into this all new experience with the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, allowing everyone to experience the Black Ops universe the way it's meant to be played learning the era specific weapons and gear, learning the gameplay innovation like Omni movement and keeping the signature Black Ops styles alive. Therefore, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 content will not carry forward to Black Ops 6 or premium experience. One exception of this is the Black Ops 6 Vault Edition Woods Operator Pack pre-order benefit, which is currently available in Modern Warfare 3 and carry forward to Black Ops 6. Carrying content for all or carry forward content for all players of Call of Duty Warzone will continue with Modern Warfare 2, 3, and Black Ops 6 content being integrated and transported into the arrival of Season 1 on Warzone. Which Season led me. One? That's what it says with the arrival of Season 1 on Warzone. So are we going back? Because then we just go back to season one with Modern Warfare 3. Can we stop calling these seasons then? I thought that was yeah. it. I, I asked somebody in a live and they go, no, you're wrong. We didn't have a season one with uh, Modern Warfare 2. And it's only season one this time because this is Warzone 2. I was like, so we're going to have a Warzone 3? 
like legit Warzone three. So, um, yeah. Let's see, that's it. Oh, the storage size, because Call of Duty has also addressed this. Uh, the big thing about okay, so it's not the game itself is not the 310 gigabytes is the com is the combination of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 6. So because it's all part of Call of Duty HUD or HQ, sorry. So it's the entirety of it. If you delete Modern Warfare 2, it goes down. You delete Modern Warfare 3, it goes down. So Call of Duty. Black Ops 6 is right now slated to be about 70 to 80 gigabytes. Alone. Standalone. Okay. That said, that means if you uninstall Modern Warfare 3, you lose access to zombies. You uninstall a Modern or you you lose access to the free roam zombies. If you uninstall Modern Warfare 2, you lose access to DMZ. So those two are tied to game specific. So, yeah, that's the that's like the biggest thing is people are pissed off about. And I knew something had to be up because I was that's fucking ridiculous. Three hundred gigabytes. Yeah. There goes your whole PlayStation. You want anything else on yeah. it? Uh-uh. Nope. Your half terabyte. It's all Call of Duty. So this says um, Call of Duty or Black Ops Six campaign. Is set after CW and set in Gulf War and is canon to the Black Ops storyline. Uh, they redid the settings menu. Again, don't care. Fear mode is coming back to Black Ops 6. Uh, this was the only one I'm kind of foggy on. I don't remember using theater mode too much, but I do use it in like Halo and Fortnite where you can go back to the gameplay and you can scrub through it. Uh, I don't remember the other ones having this, so I guess I just didn't use it that much, if ever. But that's a plus, especially for streamers. So now you can, if you're not streaming and you want to create content, now you actually have the content stored. But with that said, that is storage. That is files being used and created. Yep. So I saw somebody saying, oh, well, cool, I can go back and make content if you have space. If you don't have space, it has a uh, currently it has a 96 hour clear time. So what's that? Four days? Yeah, four days. Yeah, four days. You're not good at math. I don't know why I'm asking about math. 48, 48, 96. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and the only other thing I saw with it was there is possibility of emblem creation coming back so i don't know how much you use that i spent so much time on it that doesn't surprise me <clears throat> i can see you doing that i think the last I don't, one i love doing that i don't think i ever made any um i made because that's when my wife started playing we would do zombies every night and she was in college and or going to college class at the time. I was at home on one of my days off. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make her the K-State power cap. And I did. It took me <laughs> all fucking day to do every stupid intricate line so where it looks exactly to the power cap symbol. I did it. It looked cool. It was amazing. And the next year they got rid of it. I was like, oh, there's 12 hours of my life. I will never get back. So, but it's said, uh, it's rumored that it's coming out. And if that does, the PC side of the house is going to have an easier job creating designs because you'll be able to actually import from your computer versus yeah. PC or PlayStation or Xbox. You have to have an external hard drive or plug your system in your computer to transfer files. So, guess who's having his streaming icon, <laughs> streaming logo on there? <laughs> just because I can and if I can't upload it because it's too large well guess who's spending three weeks designing it <laughs> just for them to be like ooh never mind taking away that's exactly what would happen I'd be pissed so much 
I was gonna have to listen to you going, mm, how'd that work out for you? Shut <laughs> Exactly. So that's all the current information about Black Ops 6, though. That's a lot of shit, but again, it's all based around... Oh, they're not done. August. But I, yeah, I'm sure they're not. August, they're set to have a, quote, another major announcement concerning Black Ops 6 and Warzone. I'm sure. We will see. Speaking of updates and patches, this is more for them than you. We're releasing weekly updates over on YouTube for video game updates and patches and hotfixes. So when I say we, it's me. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to. I asked I him. Done it yet. I asked him once, and he he didn't do shit. He didn't even tell me he changed his mind. He said, "Yeah, I can do that." Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Jack Diddley. Yep. Haven't had a chance. So that's a YouTube exclusive right now. So you can get you can check that out too guys when you get back on YouTube. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. there's a lot of stuff coming. Um how it integrates to Warzone is gonna be the the interesting part and what uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Oh, what new maps are they gonna bring? I'm looking for a specific word, but that's not what I want, so. What new maps are they going to bring to Warzone? Are they going to keep Fortune's Keep around? I hope not. I wish they'd bring back a Sheikah Island. You know... I, I was good on Sheikah Island. You know what? I've been playing... I was, I was playing a little bit today and I played yesterday. I'm enjoying Fortune's Keep now more, I don't know why, than Rebirth Island. I love Rebirth Island, but I've been... I hate both and it maybe and, and it might just be the lifestyle that I I don't know something's changed recently in the way of either how I play or what I'm using. I don't know what it is, but the way that the and it could be the card 98 as well. It's way different. Um but Rebirth Island seems to and I don't know why it it plays different. It doesn't seem to play the same way as it has in the past. Things seem different with it, and I don't know what it is. Um, but it's and it could just could just be me. I don't know. But I've gotten multiple I, wins now on. Uh, I just lost fucking name of it. Not Rebirth Island, Fortune's Keep. So uh, it's I, mean, I don't know where you're going with this now. <laughs> I, I don't know, and but it's it plays better. Why? Like I told you today, the gameplay seems different. I mean, nothing's changed. I mean, what? what was There's no huge patch notes that have changed anything. Play wise, there wasn't. Uh, oh, there was specific stuff that I just read too. Where I was like, oh, that could be it, but not with the weapons you're using. Like Game, it's, it's, uh, it's weapons. It's different. There are things that have changed, or I don't know. Now I'm not. <laughs> unless they put me down in the wood, the wood level again, and I'm just playing better that way. Cool. But I'm pretty yeah. sure that's not it because I'm getting owned oh, left and right a lot of times as well. Yeah. There's, there's not. I mean, there's been nothing massive, even with season that's four launch. There's nothing about movement. Like, no, that's that's like, nothing's man. changed. Bumpers there's got no... unlocked. Yeah, there's just more more things to that, but there's nothing. Not I think gameplay wise has changed. No, yeah. I think gameplay wise has changed. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I will say I've been I've played buyback and I've done really well on that, where I'm like top three. Back to back to back. Can't seem to clutch the final position because some asshat is fucking up in the mountains every time. Literally, like, on the outskirts, where if he takes a step back, he's out of bounds. Stupid oh, yeah. Dude. Fucking hate him. Happens every time, too. I try to get the high ground, and I downed him, but then somebody picks me out from behind. I'm like, you stupid twat. I was trying to kill someone. 
You could have got, you, I mean, you still could have got second, but you could have got first. No. I mean, I like that bug right now. I saw Plunder is back, but I was on the game today. I didn't. Maybe I'm overlooking Plunder. I didn't see Plunder on my side. Plunder's, Plunder's there, but Plunder is extremely laggy. Like it has been. Awesome. That one is, that one is ex extremely laggy. I, that may have something to do with the fact that there's a 40 Plunder game. 20 Plunder game? I think it's 40. It's a stupid number. We have to play 40 rounds of Plunder. Like complete it. And right now the trend is to drop instantly upon into loading into uh, plunder, kill somebody or be killed right away, and then leave match, and you do that over and over, and you get your 40. It's like for a camo. What is that on? Uh, I think it's for a camo. Is it a weekly challenge? No. It, it was a challenge I started at season one. I don't know if it's still there. I couldn't find it today. Um, but I watched somebody live do it, and they're like, yeah, this is how you complete that real quick. I go... You motherfucker. Let me go test this out. <laughs> and then I got too busy. I was like, I can't do that. I need to go open 20 crates here. So I went to the top left of the map and just opened 20 crates. And, yeah, and, I and I got third place. Nobody killed me. I was mm -hmm. rocking tons of money. I was always marked, either willfully, because I picked up the contract, yeah. or because the system goes, hey, this fucker has a lot of money. But nobody went over that side of the map until probably the last five minutes of the match. Right after I hit the halfway point. And then everybody just came to me. I was like, you assholes. Leave me alone. <laughs> I had a backpack full of UAVs and counter UAVs and one mortar strike. So I just popped <laughs> it. Just going to pop it all. It's like, I just do this and I'll be able to see. And then see. The, the final moments, there was a squad of four coming over and had... I had found four boxes with four bomb drones. Shit. So I literally was like, <laughs> pop it. Down. Down the other one. Down you again. <laughs> literally I mean, so. if you can get them to work, they're good. Oh, they're they fucking annoying. Oh, that, that was it. Because the guys came in the chat and they're like, stop fucking getting us with the bomb. Whoever's shooting the bomb drone, stop it. And I just typed <laughs> Stop running and just die. Running and you just die. Just take so, it. So I was happy. I was like, yes! I, mean, I think I got... I think I got like eight kills that round. I was so happy. I was like, oh, I wish I was live streaming. <laughs> I wish I was live streaming this. But, yeah, so anything close to double digits we get excited about. We're not the best players, but we well, get excited well, when we get almost, almost double, double digits. Double digits for me. He, on the regular, gets close or supersedes the threshold of double digits. I get close to like four on average, if I'm like. And then there's just random nights where I'm just balling out for no fucking reason. And there's nights where you struggle to get one. I struggle to just stay alive. What are you talking about getting one? <laughs> it's like I had the biggest fucking red target on my back. I'm just like, no, no, oh yeah, I'm going to drop in right here. Is anybody by you? Hello. No. Nope. <laughs> you said no one's by me. They're not. They're six buildings over. You got sniped for a mile away. <laughs> yes. And it's literally my life. That's how it goes. That's so, but it like that's fun. And we sh we should be seeing something big in August though concerning Call of Duty. It's also Microsoft's last big conference of the year before holiday season kicks off. And they they had a fucking epic showcase. I don't know if you saw any of that. But they brought back Fable. Will now be coming oh. back as a brand new game. Perfect Dark is returning, which is fantastic. I love Perfect Dark back in the day. Um, of course, Call of Duty. And Assassin's Creed shadows which is ubisoft a showcase as well that looked really good i did a video on all this by the way so <laughs> go check that out on youtube as well <laughs> i'm trying to like think of all this i was like oh yeah i did a video about this 
There we go. I always forget what it's called. There was a bunch of games. Call of, Call of Duty got announced, of course. Oh, Doom. The Dark Ages. So this is like oh, okay. well before Doom even got established. Uh, State of Decay. One of my favorite games of all time, uh, which actually got revealed today, is Dragon Age The Veil Guard. I'm a big fan of Dragon Age Saga. So this mm -hmm. was fantastic to see. Starfield, Shatter Space, don't give a fuck. South of Midnight, uh, World of Warcraft, The War Within. Of course, excited for that. Roggle's gonna have his PC built by then so where we can play some World of Warcraft. Stupid fuck. Get together. Asian mythology is coming back. So that's gonna be interesting. They spent quite a bit of time on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Like more than they should have. Life is Strange, Indiana Jones, Make a Break, Wu Chang, Fallen Feathers, Avowed, Atomic Fall, Stalker 2, and then their biggest one was Gears of War E Day. So they showed up and showed out that day. So it'll be interesting yeah. to what uh, PlayStation does if they do a showcase at all. They didn't do one. I don't last year. That I did. 2021. That's the last one. Uh, at E3, yeah. Or 2020. No, 2021, because everything was a shutdown. So everybody pulled out. So. Well, hmm. we'll see. I don't know. Weird. I'm excited. We have a lot of good games coming out, but August will either we will do it or I will touch base on Black Ops 6 and the big changes that are coming. Hopefully you're available. Yeah, we'll see what's, uh, what changes. Hopefully they're good changes. Not too stoked about what you read off. I'm... I couldn't tell. I just think, like, I bought... I bought every Call of Duty, like you. Yeah. I bought every Call of Duty. And this is one of those, like... I don't play... I play a lot of multiplayer. I play a lot of zombies. But round-based zombies is not enjoyable solo because there's just a point where you like you need that revive. You need somebody yeah, to come over. Uh, but then at the same time, the prestige system in multiplayer will be fun once I get to level 55. But before yeah. that, the grind is heinous and you can bet your sweet ass that within two hours, I'm calling out. I honestly, I think it's with one hour, but within two hours, somebody's going to be prestiged. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. It always happens. There's no, yeah, there's no way. No way there won't be. So, so we'll see. And then how the lobbies actually play and handle everything. I want, I want big news on Warzone in August. Like, I'm sick of the game rotation, the mode rotation. Like, oh, yeah. I, I, it may be just because Plunder keeps going away. Yeah. I think between that, uh, what, Plunder Hold lockdown? <laughs> I told you earlier, I couldn't find Plunder, and yet I played Plunder. I'm a dumbass. I didn't, I, didn't, on to it I, I didn't even read it as Plunder. I read it as your stand because I was like, oh, I need to go there and um, unlock all these crates. So I didn't see what other play, Plunder. Which is uh, funny if you look at it, that Plunder and Lockdown are both on there right now. I know I didn't see Lockdown because I would text you and be like, hey, guess what we're doing Thursday night? Yeah, it's on there right now. Lockdown right, and nice. Plunder are both on. Lockdown's on Rebirth. It's on Rebirth? Never. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. Don't be a I'm, bitch. I mean, we'll still do it because you don't like it either. But, <laughs> nope. but I, I just, I just, I want like permanent modes. I want either. I, I know this is such a controversial thing. The skill based matchmaking. I want it to like. I want that to actually work for once. Like legitimately you work. You want one hand shit in the other. No, you're gonna you have shit in both hands. You're the other hand, so it's fine. We each want different things, but like it's, I get so annoyed 
with the fact that I can drop into the lobby one day, or hell, not even one day, in the same day, within one hour, I can drop into the lobby full of what feels like noobs, and then the next lobby, I drop into a bunch of try-hard sweats who've done nothing but played this since the day they came out of their mom's wound. Like, it's... There's no consistency. There's no, no there's consistency never gonna be. It pisses me off. That's that's what I'm talking. There's not going to be any any consistency at all. Just, that's how it's gone. One percent. Nothing's going to change. One percent. You you know this. We've talked about this, and we've agreed. You a keep shit. thinking things are going to change and get better. Look, everything I, that you just read if, off is if not going to work. If I can somehow talk Nia Jax into existence of Queen of the Ring. Then I can talk this shit into existence at some motherfucking point. Nope. I'll probably be done when I'm retired and can't hold a controller anymore. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. We have seen how many years of Call of Duty and same thing over and over. This is you true. You think man. all of a sudden Microsoft gets a hold of it and they're gonna fucking change everything? No, Microsoft doesn't give a fuck. Bill Spencer does. Don't you dare say that. They don't give a shit. He gives two shits. No. He has they a thousand dollars that he doesn't, but he shit. gives two shits. No. They are constantly updating a bunch of bullshit daily. They don't give a fuck. Same thing we said about Warza or Activision. Multi million dollar company. Maybe they'll figure it out. Microsoft. Billion dollar company. Maybe they'll figure it out someday. Hey, hey they did figure There's out. So much they shit. said we're getting rid of Bobby Kodak and buy Microsoft or buy Activision. That doesn't mean shit. That's that's what's even worse about that is everyone knew what the problem was. Everyone knew it was Bobby Kotick. And they just went, eh. <laughs> What are we gonna do? We'll see if they do anything. I'm not I'm not uh I'm not expecting anything big. If this game goes over and does well, great. But I'm expecting the same thing. We'll see. I mean, we have the same conversation every year. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> And it's the exact same same thing every yeah. year. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. I don't I don't think we're really gonna see any true improvements, honestly, until about 2026, 2027. <laughs> no. Listen, that's only we'll because say that they twenty thirty. Probably. Uh I guess twenty twenty seven because uh the advanced warfare two is has already been in development. Like they started it last year before the, the buyout and the merger. So it will get three years of support so if they still do three year mark that means 2027 game will be starting development now if it hasn't already which is full control of microsoft and that will be a good indication of what the fuck they're gonna do i'm just interested that i haven't found anything about next year's game 2026 is advanced warfare 2 2027 is uh ghost 2 so there's no game next year Honestly, I'd be okay with that. No, that's fine. I don't think there should be a game every year. We've talked about this. They, time. They, they, said, they, they said they're not going to do it every year. It's good. I thought it was going to be every two years, but they're going to be 26, 27. So, I mean, which way it works, if they have time to do it, as long as they have time to fucking make them right. Yeah. I don't care. I, I, I will five have years. high expectations for Ghost 2. Here's the problem. Since it takes place before Ghost, I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Like that instantly pisses me off. It's like, why? Why are we? Why are we doing this backstory shit? I just because they can't further the story. Make something up. Make something up. They've done it. They killed off tons of characters in the Modern Warfare Three campaign, and they're all playable in a quote story arc within Warzone. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. No, we may or may not change. You know, Dave, but we will see. I'm trying to get in your mindset of shit's gonna work. We know it's not going to. <laughs> Nothing needs to change as drastic as they're trying to do it. It's gonna be overkill. Well, I think that's why it's only happening in, in Black Ops Six, though. We'll see. Yeah. I don't think that that Omni movement coming to Warzone that would that's gonna be so fucking buggy. So buggy. Yeah. And let alone the nine hitbox versus or nine hit animations versus six. This is just extra structural code that you don't need. Too much. That's what I'm saying. 
Multiplayer is going to look cool, though, when I go up and knife somebody behind or shoot them in the ass with a shotgun. That's the only thing I'm looking towards the scene. They'll go, oh, no, no. <laughs> we'll see. You will, because I'll be playing it. <laughs> it's just a matter of beta or waiting. I don't know if yeah. I want to play. I don't, I don't want to play the beta. I'm not having luck with betas right now. So. Yes. We'll see. You can keep saying that, but we will. Yeah. We'll wrap it up. So if you haven't already, um, go check out. I think that I titled it Summer Game Fest 24 over on YouTube on Two Guys One Gamepad. That talks about everything that got released or that's getting ready to be released along with Xbox Showcase. Um, I'm going to do another one next week when I return home because Steam is doing their big uh, Steam Fest right now and it goes all week long. So I need two days to figure all the games and what's worth reporting on. Power Rangers, old school Power Ranger game. That's coming. Is it a 32 bit? Yeah. Is it? Well, yeah. I'm excited yeah. for it. I was like, yes! Yeah, I played I the TMNT the one. <laughs> the Power Ranger one. Let's go, childhood. Yep, I saw that one. But um, I I'll see that. I, I will cover Steam Fest next week. And then, of course, every Tuesday or Wednesday will be our weekly update. I say that because it's whenever I can push it out. Tuesday gets recorded, Wednesday gets posted. <laughs> I'm trying to post on Tuesday, so it's relevant. We shall see. That's all I got. Um, go check us out over on TikTok. Follow two guys on gamepads so where we can go live over on that platform. So we're currently using mine, which is fine. I'm taking it. I'm fine with it. Nothing gets it. So but that is all I got. Here's Mr. Oompa Loompa wannabe himself, Rockle. Yeah, nothing much either. Check out two guys onegamepad.com for all the merch. Anything else you want there? Check it out <gasps> Thursday nights as well. I got new merch coming, by the way. Perfect. Thursday nights we play Warzone normally, all the time. So I'm not going to try and say we're going we're gonna to try something else because we're not going to. We we say it all the time. We're not going to. We play Warzone on Thursday nights. We try to let's X Defy it. Helldivers, anything else? You didn't do it. I tried to get an X Defiant. You got me the Helldivers, and neither one of us played the others. I played X Defiant. I just didn't. Not with me, did it? So. I, I just played when I downloaded it. It didn't do it for me. It's not a bad game. It's all right. It's not polished, though. That's the problem. It's, it's not, not polished. Yeah, no, it's it's not bad. But, again, it, it's it's not worth it. But that's, that's what we're going to play. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, we'll try another game. We're not going to. We're not. We're, not going we're to. lying. <laughs> we're lying. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop saying we may have. It's gonna be that game. Um, we may have somebody join us. Probably not. Doofy. At this point, we have Doofy, or we may have Lance. Either one. I know. They're both busy with adult stuff too. So, no kids anymore for us. We're done with that. So when we kids move out, we'll play all, all the time. We will have a long time for all that. Kids are always around. They never go away. Uh, you only have 10 more years, roughly? Roughly, yes. I have 14. 13 and a half. Okay, I think once, once the other two are gone, it makes things a lot easier. <laughs> get, the, get the two oldest gone. The younger, she's going to have, she's going to have, it's going to be a cakewalk for her. She's going to get away with everything. She's going to love it. I got two. I just need both of them to go into school and then. Like it, I'm, I'm excited for August. You fuckers are gonna get three hours of me on my channel every day. <laughs> Which be good. Or I'm gonna do yeah. Ash for three hours. Either way, I'm gonna make money one way or another. There you go. Yeah, ain't nothing else. It was fun. Till the next one. Bye, bitch. All right, stop recording. Stop live. Nice. All right. So it showed over 2,000. 2000 how many, okay, how many views do you have? On 75 your side? viewers. I'm trying to figure out how these analytics work then. 
These analytics are confusing me. Which what what which part or what which what, what? So you're I, I'm on uh, even the two guys on gamepad that show seventy five viewers, right? Mm -hmm. On my side, I'm showing two hundred and sixty nine. Okay. Like we had two hundred and sixty nine total viewers on tonight's episode. Okay. How many likes does your does your show? Two point one. Okay, that's what it was showing right when we ended. It, well, okay, well. it's just two thousand one hundred and thirty six. So how does that work if you only had? Can you can you like it multiple times? I don't know. Here's here's like, what also, I know. Here's what I know is, uh, you uh, they have three different viewer categories. Those that like scroll by and actually click on it. So like yeah. you can scroll through and those lives randomly pop up. If you don't yeah. click into it, it's not a a live view. It's a post view. You also have then you have your live views who click in and they watch more than 30 seconds of it. And then you have what I'm assuming is our total viewers is anybody who's just like clicked on it and went, oh nope, nope, scrolled on. Okay. So, but I can't find anything about how they're how they are measuring viewers because like one of my World of Warcraft videos, I had 6,000 likes on, but I had 1,500 viewers stop by. Yeah. But I also so had like like, the seven followers that day, too. I did notice that whenever I liked it, it, sh it showed that I liked it. Does that show it for... It showed me, like, on my... It, showed... it, it, it says Rago liked it. But I also yeah, saw, like, so, two guys on my gamepad liked it, because I just yeah. double-tapped it. After that, after that, I didn't see anything else. But then all these all these hearts are showing up. So those are those considered likes, or is that a... What is, I don't know what that is. Well, in my world. I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> That's so weird. It, it's... It's wonky. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying going live on TikTok. It seems fluid. It seems easy. 